I think it's scary when you're a small uh, business to hear your government say, stay home. That's exactly yeah. what you don't want to hear them say. And of course we agree. I mean, it's the way to contain the situation is to reduce your social interaction. So it's one of those really hard things. We support it, but you don't want to um, have your customers stay home. And one of the exciting things that I've been telling people about Main Streets is that small businesses, because we don't have corporate offices we have to report to, we're flexible. We can pivot in situations like this. And oftentimes small businesses um, rise uh, ahead of all others during crisis situations. And it's really cool when you take a look at downtown Fredericksburg and what some businesses are doing to really better support their customers in a time like this. Um, first and foremost, I do want to say that we are open for business. All of downtown mm -hmm. is open. Um, it's a nice way to get out of your home and walk around downtown in the nice fresh air. Our businesses have all produced memos um, for their staffs to increase the way they clean and sanitize their spaces. So all of that's being done. Restaurants are reporting that they're removing out tables, removing some of the tables from yeah. their dining areas so that people can space out and have more space while they eat. So there are things um, reducing touch points. For example, businesses are opening their doors so you don't actually have to touch handles. Reducing um, uh, what you have to do at the point of sale system so that you don't sign receipts and so you don't have to touch computer screens. And our customers should know that they should ask for those types of things. If you're walking into a store and you're worried about um, mm -hmm. how you're interacting with uh, doing normal business, ask the business if you can um, not do some of those, those normal things, that uh, touch point types of things to protect you and them. But what's really cool about downtown businesses and this idea of pivoting is that we're seeing restaurants who are doing delivery services. We're, doing bus we're seeing businesses who are doing delivery services curbside pickup. I saw that you have that. River Rock Outfitter is releasing um, now. We've been working on it since January, but we figure with uh, coronavirus, let's re-release it now. But curbside pickup, you can actually buy products now from River Rock online and we'll we'll take them right out to your, to your car. Yeah. And a lot of businesses are doing that. I'm seeing businesses on social media offering free shipping. So go on their websites, buy and have it uh, deliver to your home. Um, lots of different options that businesses are trying to support customers who may not want to come in and don't feel comfortable coming into a store. And what's really great about downtowns is people love Fredericksburg. They love their downtown businesses and they're asking us, how can we support you during this time? We may not be comfortable walking downtown and walking into your stores, but we want to make sure that your employees stay employed. How can we help you maintain cash flow during this period? And one of the things that I'm telling people is that buy gift cards. gift cards. Gift cards are amazing because what you're doing is go online, call up a shop, purchase a gift card. This is this allows the business to have cash flow mm -hmm. during this period, keeps the business open, keeps rent paid, keeps employees employed. It also shows that you love that business and, and that's appreciated during this time when business owners are scared. But in addition, it means that we're going to see you later. So when mm -hmm. the situation is all over, you can come bring that gift card back into the shop and um, spend it in one of your favorite shops downtown. So if you're looking for a way to support, maybe consider having food delivered, purchase from stores online, or definitely buy gift cards to your favorite stores and uh, show your love for downtown. You and I have talked numerous times about just the importance of shopping local and never more important than, than, than right now because we're all in this together and shopping local is going to help these businesses stay in business. That's exactly right. And it's like a big family. You know, uh, when I talk to some of the business owners downtown, the majority of the business owners, what they're worried about isn't their own livelihood. What they're worried about is they're keeping their employees employed mm -hmm. um, and, and paying their rent so that their business can be around. And for these employees who are hourly employees, they don't have sick leave. Um, they don't have those cushions like a lo mm -hmm. lot of other people do um, in their own jobs. We can't have them telework. I don't, you know, you can't do that in retail. So for us figuring out if there is a situation where we're gonna have to close down our shops, how do we ensure that we keep our um, employees employed? Because I don't want to lose my three. So what do I need to do yeah. to do that? And our customers want to ensure that they help keep Mikana, Jenna, and Lawton employed as well. And so for them, I tell them, we've got to keep cash flowing. And the best way that we can do that is buy from us online, buy those gift cards and come shop with us once this is all over. Or as I said, come downtown. You know, the businesses are doing extraordinary measures to make sure that their shops are clean and disinfected. Um, we may not be shaking hands. We may not giving you hugs. We may not be doing the same touching and feeling when we um, fit you in kayaks and backpacks, all of those things to keep you safe. 
but it's still, our doors are still open and we're still here if you want to get out of your houses and come down and shop. Scary times. And the, I guess the one thing you, you, you maybe, we, you know, when we talk about local and how, you know, don't always shop online and maybe this is a, this is a great reminder of get to know some of these businesses and get to know people and you'll, you'll, you, you'll get a connection to them. That's exactly right. And, and as I said, um, because we're able to pivot and because we're able to be really flexible, these shops are offering some really cool services to their customers. And you would be surprised how many of our stores downtown actually have online businesses. This is the time to check those businesses out. Check them out, buy your favorite soaps, your clothes, your shoes, your candy yeah. from these shops online and have it delivered to your home. And that's the best way that you can support these local businesses during a time um, of crisis like this. And what I've been telling our customers, and we've been laughing about it over the last couple of weeks, you know, outdoor people have been practicing social distancing forever. <laughs> we go hide on mountaintops, we go to trails, we go hang out in the middle of the river. What better way to get out of your house with your family? Um, it's stressful when you're all cooped up, especially coming off of a, a winter season. Yeah. Get out on trail. Go climb a mountain, go get on the river, go do something outdoors. Um, perfect way to social distance and still relieve some of that stress.